This is the world's first 8K Mini LED professional monitor from ASUS, model number PA32KCX. Now, some of you may be asking, why do you need an 8K monitor at 32 inch? Well, you see, some filmmakers like to film at 8K resolution to be used in virtual production and also XR expanded reality use case. And until now, they don't really have a small size monitor to see 1 1 pixel mapping their 8K workflow entirely on an 8K display. Of course, there is this Dell 8K monitor from maybe five years ago, but that is not even compatible with HDR and that doesn't have the mini LED backlighting that this ASUS PA32KCX has. And many TV manufacturers also have stopped making smaller size 8K television because of the lack of uptake among consumers. For this reason, I think this ASUS PA32KCX is very unique. Basically, it's a 32-inch 8K monitor with a resolution of 7680 times 4320. And it allows an editor or a colorist who is working with an 8K workflow to see 1-1 pixel mapping from the raw 8K footage. Let's talk about the mini LED backlighting. 4096 local dimming zones. The monitor is capable of a peak brightness of 1200 nits. It is capable of a sustained peak brightness of 1000 nits full screen. And DCI-P3 color gamut coverage is 97%. It uses an IPS LCD panel. Now the pixels are so fine. It is even finer than Margaret Robbie's acting. And the monitor will come factory calibrated to less than one delta error value. But it also has a built-in motorized flip colorimeter that allows users to run their own auto calibration from time to time. And this will make sure that you can sustain this color accuracy over the long term. The ASUS PA32KCX has multi-HDR support, including for HDR10 and HLG or hybrid log gamma. Connectivity-wise, it has two HDMI 2.1 ports and one DisplayPort 2.1, which is needed for handling 8K content. And it will also have a Thunderbolt 4 port that will provide up to 96 watt of power delivery. And in terms of the anti-glare coating, it is equipped with ASUS Lux Pixel technology, which includes an anti-glare low reflection filter together with their eye care as a package to make sure that users don't get too tired or eye damage from using the screen long term. Besides this 8K monitor, I also saw several other very interesting products at ASUS booth at NAB 2024. I'm standing beside the one that I enjoy looking at the most, which is the ProArt Display PA32 UCDM, 32-inch 4K QD OLED monitor. Now, you may remember that ASUS has launched a PG32 UCDM, which is the gaming version from the ROG division. But this is the ProArt version, and the advantage is that it will have superior color accuracy to the gaming version. This will be factory calibrated to an average delta error value of less than one from factory. It will also support hardware calibration from ASUS own ProArt calibration software from Kalman and also from Light Illusion's ColorSpace CMS system. And being QD OLED, naturally it is capable of deep blacks, it is capable of wide viewing angles without losing much color fidelity, and it has a slightly glossy finish which some of you really like in terms of the depth it imparts to the picture. DCI-P3 color gamut coverage is 99% and the peak brightness is rated at 1000 nits. Because this is a 2024 model, it will ship with a three-year burn-in warranty, which is probably part negotiated with Samsung Display, who supplies this panel. Checking the subpixel structure on this PA32 UCDM, I found that it is using the updated subpixel structure that allows for better fine text reproduction with less color fringing than the first generation of QD OLED monitors. Surprisingly, for a monitor that is geared towards color grading or editing, it is actually compatible with 240 Hz refresh rate, similar to the PG32 UCDM. And another key difference I found on this monitor versus the PG32 UCDM is that its design is absolutely breathtaking. I really love 
the beautifully machined aluminum finish and the smaller base as well, which is said to take up 50% less footprint than its predecessor. It also has versatile mount options with a partition hook. In terms of connection, this monitor will have one rather than two HDMI 2.1 port, one Thunderbolt 4 with 96 watt power delivery, and it can also function as a USB hub. Let's move on. At ASUS NAB 2024 booth, I also saw three other displays worth talking about. The first one is this 27-inch QHD IPS LCD monitor with 100Hz refresh rate and also the company's Lux Pixel technology. The model number is PA278CFRV. That's a mouthful. And the company has also launched a smaller 16-inch portable monitor with SDI 12 gig connectivity. It will have a kickstand that is adjustable. And last but not least, what I saw at ASUS booth was this Pro Cinema PQ07 micro LED display. I first cast eye on this at IBC last year, but at IBC it was displayed with a stand, whereas here they have decided to wall mount it. And according to the product manager, the difference is that they have improved the mechanical alignment process, resulting in better uniformity on this one. At the show hall, ASUS also hinted at a newer micro-LED module with superior anti-glare coating. But overall, looking at ASUS booth, the display I'm most interested in is the PA32 UCDM, which is why I'm actually standing beside it filming my talking head video. And the design and also the superior color accuracy may appeal to those who are in the post-production industry. Of course, if you don't care too much about the color accuracy and just want a 32-inch 4K QD OLED monitor with 240Hz refresh rate, ASUS also do a gaming version, the PG32 UCDM, which I have covered in another video you can watch by clicking here.